after a Portland high school was hit with vandalism consisting of hate messages written in graffiti. A school parent is speaking out. Fox 12's Spencer Thomas reports from Southeast Portland with more on this story. It's spray paint, but our voices and our love is more powerful than that ugly message. Shea Mossifin is the mother of a 10th grader at Cleveland High School, and her initial reaction to vandalism on campus was a mixture of, of surprise and, and disgust. Cleveland High School principal Joanne Wadkin sent an email to students, staff, and families. It read that sometime between Saturday evening and Sunday afternoon, the school was vandalized with graffiti that included hate speech, such as a swastika. The front doors and windows of the school were spray painted, as well as the stadium just down the street from the school. The principal's letter mentioned that names of people associated with the school in the past were spelled out on the field. Very disappointed in the community and also in a way I'm impressed by the reaction from the school. I think that they're handling it pretty well. They've been very direct and very swift with their response. Mossifin went on to say that hate is something we are facing every day and it's doing no good for our community. I wish that there was something I could say directly to those people uh, who, who are doing the graffiti and and ask um, how can we see eye to eye? How can we make this a better community together rather than making each other uncomfortable and unsafe. One nasty voice in a sea of voices of support, so I'm one of those voices of support, and, and my son is as well. I would just uh, want to make that voice of support louder than the ugliness. And if you take a look right here, these are the very doors that were dressed in graffiti just a day ago. They've obviously since been covered up, but a, swast a swastika was labeled out right here. And Principal Watkins said in part, quote, that hate is not tolerated and diversity makes the school community stronger. She also listed a bunch of resources the teens can utilize if they do feel affected by this situation. And right now, the Portland police are urging people with any sort of information to please call the non-emergency line. For now, we're live here in Southeast Portland. Spencer Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.